Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Sorry I've been out of commission for the last couple of days. I basically had a two week trip to Georgia from New York and uh, with all of the driving, since I was doing a lot of the driving for this particular tour, that took up a lot of time. In addition, uh, we also had a lot of storms in Georgia, so our power went out. We lost our Wi-Fi in our Airbnb, so I couldn't upload as much as I would have liked to. And I also burned the crap out of my finger on a crappy pan in the Airbnb as well. So I basically just stopped doing a lot of stuff with my hands besides what I absolutely had to do, but everything is fine now. Just have like a blister that's peeling off. Super fun. Anyway, now onto the video. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my Sephora Playbox for May 2018. So first up, I'm going to talk about all of the stuff I received in my April Playbox and whether I got any use out of it, and then we'll move on to the new one. For those of you who don't know, a Sephora Playbox is a $10 subscription box. You can order it through the Sephora website. It comes automatically to your door. It comes with six samples generally. They're deluxe sizes usually. You might get a full size, but it's really infrequent. Usually it's uh, some skincare, makeup, and some kind of perfume. Uh, I always am happiest when I get lots of makeup because I have plenty of skincare, but you know, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, sometimes there are surprises online that will give you like hints, uh, and none of the boxes are exactly the same. There are some uh, different variations on the same sort of box, even if the theme is the same for the month. So just as a recap from April, the items I received in that box, I received the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade SPL. Now I already had a sample of this, however I do really like the lip gloss, I think it's really good, uh, but I actually gave the other sample to a friend since I only need one of those, honestly. Also from Fresh, I got a Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask with seaweed extract. I did use that on my trip. It seemed fine. It smelled okay. Uh, again, it was just a little teeny jar of it, so I used it up. I wouldn't repurchase it because I have plenty of masks, but I thought it was a perfectly fine mask. So the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For, I misplaced it, so I wasn't able to use it this month, but I did just find it when I got home. I thought I had taken it with me in my bag, but unfortunately I left it behind. So I'm going to be using that this month. I have used it before and I do like it, so I'm excited to have a bigger size sample. I also received a Makeup Forever skin tint that was the wrong shade for me. I have yet to see the right shade for me in stores. I did go in to see if I could pick one up. I'm sort of in between the shades in that one, so uh, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to like it. I do want to test it out, but the shade I had was way too dark, so I gifted that to a friend. And from Elizabeth and James, I got the Nirvana White Perfume Sample. I thought that that perfume smelled nice. I just don't like it as much as my other scents, so while I did use it once or twice, I'll probably declutter that one. And last up from Philosophy, I got a Purity Made Simple Moisturizer. I used it on my hands as opposed to my face, and I thought it smelled very nice, and it went on very well, uh, just because my hands were kind of dry. And also after I burned my finger, I was using that to moisturize the skin. So that was actually quite nice. Uh, I don't know that I would buy a full size. I don't necessarily need it, but it was nice to have a conveniently sized sample to take with me. So this is what this month's bag looks like. So this is made of like a chambray denim. Uh, it's you know, seems pretty nice. Also like a little shoelace tie on here. I like this little cord. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll necessarily keep this bag, uh, but I do think it's nice. I can tell from just holding it that there's something in like a wax paper, and that's usually a perfume sample. So we'll see what that is. I'm going to see if I can pull that out one first. Yep. Oh yes, it is perfume. This is from Atelier Cologne. This is the perfume Clementine, California. Now, I love this perfume. I have it in a bigger size. I purchased it in a bigger size. I have received this before in a play box. It's a really nice perfume. I don't need this many. So this one I'm going to declutter to a friend, possibly my mom, because I know she's coming to visit me soon. Um, but uh, that's a disappointment. So there's item one from the box. Item two is cardboard. It's from Hourglass. It's a mineral primer veil. I just picked this up as a 100 point perk. I now have a backup of this. So. That's two things I've received um, relatively recently through Sephora, though this one not necessarily in a play box. Uh, I feel like so far it looks like they're just throwing all the extra samples in here. To be fair, I like that primer and it's very expensive, so the fact that I'm not paying for it is nice, but if I get anything else that I've gotten recently, I'm going to be pretty annoyed with this bag. I'm pretty sure the next thing is an eyeliner. If it is a Stila or a Kat Von D, I'm going to be sorely disappointed, uh, just because I already have multiples of those and I don't need any more. And it's a Kat Von D tattoo liner in True for Black. I'm going to give this to my friend because I was espousing how great this liner is. Let me be clear. This is a great eyeliner. I think it's wonderful. I have two mini sizes of this right now, plus one that's open that I'm using, plus one in brown. I don't need any more samples of this. I got plenty of those. Actually, I got an extra sample of this when I went to IMATS New York because they also gave me this in my bag. So this is a sample I've gotten a lot of. So, so far, that's three samples that I have plenty of. <sighs> Again, I know this is a $10 box. I shouldn't get grumpy about it. I was just expecting something more exciting. I would have liked, you know, some new stuff. Next up, this is a plastic tube. 
This is from Caudalie. This is a Venusaurus Moisturizing Sorbet for sensitive skin. So this looks like it's a face and neck cream that you're supposed to use after your serum. I'm not familiar with the, what this one smells like. Ooh, it smells quite nice actually. It's sort of like a, a peaty vegetable smell, but like in a good way. So uh, I'll see if I can give this one a go. I have not tried this particular thing from Caudalie. All right, so there's a little spray bottle of something. This better not be an Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Oh, it's not. It's from Way. This is hair care. This is Wave Spray. It's a weightless texture mist for effortlessly chic, undone hair. Sodium chloride free. All right, so this is something I'm supposed to spray on my hair. It's going to give me beautiful beachy ways. I'm into that. I'll definitely try that. Last step, this isn't cardboard. I'm going to guess this is a lipstick, maybe? No, this is from Buxom. This is the Lash Mascara in Blackest Black. I don't remember what the packaging on this one looks like, so I would know if I'd used it before. So it's this particular packaging. I'm actually pretty sure I haven't tried this one. I've tried some other Buxom mascaras, but not this particular one. So I'll add this to the mascara stash. So overall, three out of six of these items I have and I've received recently through Sephora, either as sort of like a deluxe perk or in a play box itself. So that's a little disappointing. I will say that those three products are very good and I do like them. So it's not like in a normal circumstance, I would be happy to have extras of it, but I don't need the extras. So I'm going to give those away to other people, to my friends, that kind of thing. Uh, the other three products, uh, the Caudalie moisturizer, I will try to give that a go, but I am pretty happy with my moisturizer situation at the moment. Uh, I will try that Buxton mascara. And the last thing is that Way hairspray. And I am looking forward to trying that out because I always like to try a nice beachy spray because right now my hair, there's a lot of humidity and rain lately in New York City. So my hair has just been enormous. So I pulled it back to to keep it out of my face today but I would love to have some sort of definition to my wavy texture anyway thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying the content on this channel please subscribe there will be more content coming in the next few days now that I am home with consistent Wi-Fi so it's very exciting for me anyway I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you all soon bye